Hi, this is Captain Mike here with you again on a, uh, another Microwaves basic video. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about <clears throat> how to repair your microwave kiln. This is the bottom off of uh, my very first microwave kiln. And uh, I dug all the uh, ceramic stuff out of it that was all in here. Uh, and uh, um, you can see it's pretty well beat up. Now, I've had this microwave kiln uh, probably be better than six months, and it's the one that I learned on. Uh, but when it gets like this, don't throw it away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a real quick fix if you're ever faced with something like this where it's just pitted up, tore up, and stuff's really gotten messed up in it. So, uh, y'all hang on here and we're going to go and I'm going to try to show you what we can do to fix it. This material is very soft right here. And uh, so what we're going to try to do is take it to this ladder. And we're going to try to, I say try, because this is the first time I've really done it this way. Uh, we're going to try to uh, go ahead and sand it down by rubbing it around on this. It makes a lot of noise. I'm going to spare you all the rubbing around. I'll show you the finished, group, the finished product when I get through and what we will add to this to make it a, a suitable platform. Okay, it took less than uh, two minutes to get this uh, flattened out here using 80 grit sandpaper. I just did this to it on one side. There are still some divots here, but uh, they're not going to really matter. You can take it on down, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. And... Uh, Hang in here just a minute. Let me go get another piece. I'm not going to cut this video off. Okay, there's a couple of things that you can do from this point. If you wanted to, you could take some kiln wash. It's just this, you know, pancake batter consistency stuff. And you could paint this whole thing with kiln wash. Might not be a bad idea anyway. But these little divots here, you could just keep filling them up with uh, uh, kiln wash until they get kind of even. It'd take three or four or five applications, and then you could sand it all down. And you could just use it just like it is. Put two coats of kiln wash, after you get the holes filled in, two coats of kiln wash on this and let it dry thoroughly. Uh, then you would still need to use uh, the kiln paper on that. And uh, you just you know, put a little piece down there and then you take your top and you just put it on top like that and uh, it would, uh, it'd work fine. Uh, but my solution is to get you some uh, uh, thick uh, kiln fireproof paper. I think this is 3 8 And uh, I took and drew circle on it. It just so happens that a cottage cheese lid is the right size and I drew that on there and then I took and I cut out a piece and I place it right there in the center and that fixes it. All you have to do is put your piece on there and again I put a piece of I've usually put a piece of kiln wash excuse me, kiln paper on there and then that's just for extra protection and then you put it there and she's as good as new. It'll work just fine. Uh, if you need to repair your kiln, try that and see how it works out for you. That's the way I'm going to do mine and this one in particular, I'm going to go ahead and put kiln wash on this but you don't have to. But uh, anyway, you guys, uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it made a little sense to you on how to repair 
your microwave kiln when it really gets a nasty shape like mine did. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.